Hey you two friends, I got something to show you guys and gals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I got all the tubes populated. And um, there's that funky rectifier tube that sits on top of the large power transformer. And what I did was I populated the tubes with... Um, here's my uh, tube box here. I, I got these tubes from vacuumtubes.net and they're uh, new old stock, never used, brand new and there's 68G, a couple of those, they're all new old stock uh, brand new, they're all pre-tested and I wanted to do that and I did get a couple tubes uh, I think it was 6J5Gs from some eBay vendor <clears throat> reputable one that is but what I wanted to do, and my reasoning was if I had a couple bad um, Philco tubes, original ones, then it would really make it hard to diagnose, you know, through the system. And I figure it's better just replacing, put all the new tubes in, you know, start from like ground zero, so to speak, all new tubes. And those Philco tubes, once I get my tube tester working, I'll test all those out, and then I could put those Philco tubes all into the radio. You know, they use as many original ones as possible. You know, the original ones are, are good. So I got all the tubes in and all the tube shields. And I got the um, the lights fixed. The, uh, the lights. And, um, well, I just got to tell you straight off that the radio does work. <laughs> and, you know, you know no, no sense of playing. I, I had to test it out. I couldn't, I don't think I could have made the video and have the thing blow up making the video. That wouldn't be any fun. But I did test it out beforehand and the radio does work. So I just want to show you what I did there and my reasoning there. I figure all new tubes and they're all pre-tested. And then I, when I get my tube tester working, I'll test all those old Philco tubes out. And they're all safely boxed up. So they're not rolling around anywhere. Okay, so let me uh, hook the speaker up. I have to actually uh, hook the speaker up here. Flip my chassis around on my frame. I'm going to plug in the speaker. This uses a five prong plug. Plug it in. And the speaker was, they have a bolt, it bolts in, and they have screws that hold it in too, where the bolt plate is. So they have a, a bolt goes through the middle hole, and have a screw goes in the other holes. But only one screw on each side is used. So I guess they didn't want the speaker to rock, so they bolted it and, and screwed it in. I thought it was interesting. I got a uh, temporary... A uh, little antenna wire here, and it's, I mean little wire. It's only like about that's it there. That's the that's the um, that's the uh, end of it right here. It's just using a I don't know six feet, and then uh, let's see. Oh, what I want to show you is this. See this plug here. This is an Elmenko um, fused plug. Yeah, let me show you. Let me t let me unplug that real quick here. So what that does is, it's not the most elegant thing, but you put fuses in there, and I have two three amp fuses. You know, so three amps will blow it. Three amp fast blow that is. And if you want to get those fuses out, if one blows, you just poke it out through this side with like a stylus or a little small screwdriver. I thought that was so cool to have the fuses right there in the plug. Easy to replace if it blows. That's, that was made by Elmenko, and they don't make them anymore. So I got a couple of those on eBay. I'm plugging it back in to my box. Here's my amp and my voltage and let's see uh, 
the variac plugged into isolation transformer and I'm standing on a rubber mat here see and when I turn this on my other hand is going to be like on the wooden bench and you don't want to touch the frame or anything when you turn it on so I'm going to turn it on I'm going to bring it up slow too I gotta turn this on too so I'm going to turn it up here and there's 30 volts about 0.3 amps now I think this radio well I know it's going to pull over an amp because it's 165 watts cut it up to 60 volts I should be getting something pretty soon turn this heater off here I got a it's getting down to 19 degrees tonight so I'm standing next to this turn this heater off okay here's something you know, know what I hear I hear the Viria coming oh there it is aha now that's just that 60 70 volts I'm turning it all the way up to 115 volts it's 115 volts I got that's annoying Let me turn the station you know what I gotta do I gotta turn these lights off okay that's a lot better so I got 115 volts and I got about 1.1 amps and I figured out full volume, I calculated it out, and full volume at like 165 watts be, I think, 1.4 amps. So it's pulling about 1.1 amps. So I think that's good for this radio. This is a big radio. So, okay. So let me test out the dial here. What I did was I installed the temporary install the tuning knob and this is the the fine tuning here in the middle and sometimes this fine tuning slips so I think I may have got oil on some clutch mechanism I gotta check that out I think you can turn this this one here See the Philco beam of light. I know what's cool. Jimmy's face, Bradley's face, talking to Matt Pressing. Turn the light off. Kevin Stallings, an outstanding coach. Good college player and a better coach. Was a great player, all American player at Collinsville High School in the Metro East. Arrest by yourself. The folks at. I'm going to test the magnetic tuning out. Watch this. See, I purposely detuned the station. Now what I'm going to do is turn the magnetic tuning switch, and that should pull the station in. See? And it does. So that's the AFC, or the magnetic tuning, see? Turn it off. Let's turn, the, turn it back on. Cool, huh? Okay, lights out again. It's cooler with the lights out. That's the end of the line there. Shortwave one.
put the volume up a little. Okay, shortwave two. What's the dance? President of the Rugby Union of Russia, which is Rafa Kiyak. John Lennon, the musico genial. Second, it's not true. It's not true. Stay tuned. Okay, let's step up again. Next short way band. Change his mind about uh, the timing of the end. Okay, let's try the other one. Next one. See, this all works then. Yeah, it's working. Okay, I'm going to put it back on AM. I got stuff on every band. I'm going to burn this radio in for a couple weeks and I gotta check the dial make sure it's it's okay I may have to make some trimmer adjustments I did see that the dials off about 10 kilocycles so gonna have to adjust a couple trimmers to bring that in life's better for people who are blind and visually impaired Intuit Small Business presents Invoices in 30 Seconds. Okay, friends, oh, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to burn it in for a couple of weeks and uh, do some uh, fine adjustments on the uh, on the trimmers because it looks like the dial's off a little bit. And uh, I might I might tweak the IF. I don't know. It just depends how good it sounds. Uh, take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.